In this training video, we're going to look at customizing the calendar for Microsoft Project to make sure we set project up the way we want it to work. So in this example, if we look at how project is set up by default, it works from a Monday to a Friday, and then the weekends happen to be Saturday and Sunday. Now project calls Monday to Friday working, and Saturday and Sunday non-working. So the white is working, the gray is non-working. Now, for hours in a day, project by default works to eight hours per day. So if we don't customize it correctly and get it to work the way we need it to work for our operational needs, project will never help us and give us the accuracy we need. So we're going to learn to customize Microsoft Project to our specific needs. So what we're going to say in this example, in this example, we're going to say the working week is going to be Wednesday to a Sunday. So that's the five day week. And Monday and Tuesday are going to be the weekends, the non-working. And we're not going to work eight-hour days. We're going to work seven-hour days. So let's see what we've got to do. So the first thing we've got to do is go to File Options and go to the Schedule area. Now underneath here, we can tell Project how many hours we want it to work, so the eight. But then if we don't want point something of a week, we've got to get the whole numbers correct. So we'll start off with telling it the day we want. So we want a day to be Wednesday. We want the hours per day to be seven. Well, five sevens are 35. So that's why I'm putting 35 in the working week. Now we can set the hours. That's more to do with cosmetics. So we could say it between nine and five they work in seven as a nine and four so we can set the, the the hours ourselves to be more of a cosmetic appearance but the engine behind project is running with the hours per day that's a calculation plus the hours per week and the day it's working on so we're going to leave it like it is for for now and if we need to change anything we'll change anything a bit later but right now we'll leave it wednesday start date the hours are going to be seven hours per day, and it's going to be 35 hours per week. We're going to click OK, and what's going to happen when I click OK, we'll see a little flicker whereby the week segment within the timescale area moves in line with the Wednesday. That's what we're going to see. So the week is just going to shift over to the Wednesday. And there we go. So the week has now aligned itself to a Wednesday. Well, project still isn't going to work for us because that's only one part of the customization. We've now got to go into the project tab and use an area called change working times. Now, by default, project comes with three calendars, 24 hours, night shift and standard calendar. Well, standard calendars is what's set the project. Now, that's set to work an eight hour working day between eight and 12 and one and five. So in effect, it's taken off an hour's lunch. So that's the calculation project is set in itself. Eight hours in the working day. So we might say in our example, well, we don't want it to work eight hours because we've just changed it. So we've got to update the working weeks. And you'll notice project is still working on a Monday to a Friday with Saturday and Sunday grayed out. So we need to change the whole of project's way of working right now through the change working time for the standard calendar. So on the work weeks, default, details, I'm now gonna, and we can see now it's set itself to a Wednesday because that's what we changed in the schedule. So I'm gonna highlight Wednesday to a Sunday with my shift key. Now I'm gonna choose the third option, set days to these specific work, working times. Now I'm just gonna give it an hour earlier finish. So I'm gonna leave it eight to 12 for four hours. And then it's going to be one, two, I'm going to take away the 17, and I'm going to make it 16, dot, dot, zero, zero. So I've now changed the working time from eight hours to seven hours. That's the way I'm getting project to calculate itself. Now, what you'll notice when I click okay the timings will change when i click on another date so i'll need to click on another date first but then you'll see the timings change so it's not going to be 8 to 12 
and 1 to 5 it's going to be 8 to 12 1 to 4 that's what's going to happen when I click OK and click on a different date so when I click OK they've all gone white because now project doesn't know what's non working well, if I click on another date now we'll now see it's 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 one to four but you'll notice Monday because it it doesn't know what to do with the Monday it's working one to five and a Tuesday because we haven't set these but anything from Wednesday onwards we can now see it's done its job so very clever so now we need to update the non working so same idea work weeks default details and this time Monday and Tuesday I'm going to set the non working okay and now we can see the picture Monday and Tuesday are non working Wednesday onwards is working 8 to 12 1 to 4 click OK and when we click OK we'll see the whole of the working week change within Microsoft Project and there we go so Wednesday to Sunday now happens to be the working week so that's the working week Wednesday to Sunday and the weekend happens to be Monday and Tuesday and this gives you an idea now how to customize Microsoft project to your own working operational needs because this is an area that many organizations find troublesome and they tend to use the project default start date uh, the starting times and uh, and don't don't customize it and the problem with that is their projects then are often not accurate to real world so that's the issue that arises if customization is not undertaken within Microsoft project but this covers in this training video customizing Microsoft project to set working times if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.